when you know designers were freaking out you would say that calm down like nobody is gonna die like if, <laughs> if this if this presentation doesn't go well or if this brand is the wrong color like nobody dies here <laughs> Because this is a startup, you know, like as in it's a new company and a new idea, but it's it's not like a traditional startup. It's being started by some of the most successful, you know, people in the tech industry. And it's, uh, I'm going to assume, highly well funded and backed by, you know, everything. So it's almost a startup only because it's new and not necessarily because it's, it's um, you know, a, a bootstrapping itself. How do you... How do you approach these different size jobs and different size sort of things? Is there like a different way that you think about building a brand for them or, or yeah, I guess talk me through your process with that. We do work with a lot of, uh, or we, with a lot of companies that are very future facing to kind of put it very uh, blandly. Neuralink is one of them. Yeah. Worldcoin. Um, we just did a, a a brand for a like a, a surgical robot that you can op- the surgeon can control from the browser in a completely different location. Um, this is like both like groundbreaking technology and also that that can make really that can add a lot of like value to our lives in the future working on these type of projects is like you said, they're, they're typically backed by pretty uh, experienced, like visionary experienced founders who have done this before in different ways. Mm. Um, And what I'm, what I'm getting at is these type of genius visionary tech leaders, like they don't give a shit about your design process, right? Like as, as, as brand studios, as designers, we love to create these processes and to have our timelines and our scopes and our, you can't do step one before you get to step two. It's very like methodical, right? And for good reason, right? Like we like to, we like to go through our steps and have our process and have time and review and, and all of that. And it's all for, it's all really good. And we love working like that whenever we can for obvious reasons, but like tell that to someone who's, uh, engineering like a very a chip that's going to be implanted in your brain like they're they don't it's hard for them to grok the or add they just want to get going they, they, they have they, they have a timeline that's they have a timeline that's been compressed to this because in their mind like design is like is a very is the is the least complicated part of the puzzle although we do like our 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 process and our step by step approach that we we kind of just jump in the fire with with them and um pros and cons to that i would say <laughs> um but it's also kind of fun to shake things up and to just jump in and and get right into iterating and making a bunch of things and going back and forth and being really collaborative um i think uh Sometimes uh, it, we, we end up making things that are really cool that we might not have gotten to in the same way if we if we if we took did all the steps in order. We have this debate in our studio all the time, and my my um, ex business partner always used to when you know designers were freaking out, he would say that calm down, like nobody is gonna die. Like if <laughs> if this if this presentation doesn't go well, or if this brand is the wrong color, like nobody dies here. And, you know, when you're dealing with the far future, differentiation is not difficult because there's nobody else mm-hmm. out here you know like nobody else is making this thing so it's not like i'm another bank and i need to convince you that i'm different or that you know like buy my shoe i know there's 100 shoes but this one's really special it's like if you want a coin for the world that scans your retina this is the only one <laughs> I think intense collaboration and like real time iteration is really valuable. I also think like being in our studio and being able to like have space to to use mm. the ingredient of time um, is also really valuable.